Good day guys, this is Sir Dan Apostol. In this video, we are going to discuss the different kinds of angles. So, let us first define what is an angle. Angles is formed by two rays having the same endpoint, which is called its vertex. The two rays are called its sides. The unit of measurement of an angle is a degree with the symbol of this one. Ayan. So this is the, an example of angle. So sabi dyan, it forms two rays. So we have ray AB and also ray AC. So pag, sinama, pag pinagsama natin siya, makakabuo tayo ng isang angle. Magkakaroon ng isang opening. So meron na sila ngayon common vertex. Then, the unit of measurement again is degree. So, how to name an angle? In naming an angle, take note of this, na kailangan yung vertex natin laging nasa gitna. So, for example, in naming this angle, we have angle B, A, C or angle C, a, B. So, take note na yung ating vertex lagi nasa gitna in naming an angle. We can also call this as angle A okay, using its vertex or we can name this as angle 1 okay, using this uh, number 1. What are the different types of angle? So, number 1 we have acute angle. What is an acute angle? It has a measure that is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degrees. So, ito yung representation natin. Meaning, itong angle na to, pwede siyang maging 1 to 89. Yung measurement. So, pwedeng maging 30 degrees, pwedeng 46 degrees, pwedeng 72 degrees. Basta, greater than 0 degrees, but less than 90 degrees. That is an acute angle. Next angle is right angle. Right angle has a measure that exactly 90 degrees. So, pag nakakita tayo ng ganito, ng box, that means it is an, a right angle. So, ang measurement niyan lagi ay 90 degrees. Next is obtuse angle. It has a measure that is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. We have angle BAC. Okay, so etong angle na to, Pwedeng lumagpas ng 90 degrees, pero hindi pwedeng lumagpas ng 180 degrees. So, greater than 90, but less than 180 degrees. So, uh, pwedeng, nating, pwedeng maging 98 degrees, pwedeng 100 degrees, and pwedeng 165 degrees. Next angle is the straight angle. Straight angle is an angle equal to 180 degrees. So, ito yung representation natin. So, yung two rays, yan, nakakabuo siya ng isang line. So, yung angle na nabubuo nun is what we call an a straight angle. So, yun, one end, uh, measurement niya ay 180 degrees. So let us determine whether the angle formed in the figure is acute, right, obtuse, or straight angle. So number 1, yung hands ng clock nakaturo sa 12 and sa 5. So number 2, yung hands ng clock nakaturo sa 12 and 3. Sa so number 3, nakaturo sa 12 and 6. And sa so number 4, 
nakaturo sa 12 and 2. So, ano yung angles na napoform ng bawat example? Number 1. Okay. That is obtuse angle. Kasi, ang measurement niya ay 150 degrees. So, more than 90 pero less than 180 degrees. Number 2. Okay, it forms an a right angle. Okay, right angle. So, kung mapasin natin, ang measurement niya ay 90 degrees. Number 3, we have straight angle. So, nakakabuo siya ng straight angle with a measure of 180 degrees. And number 4, We have acute angle. So, ang measurement niya dito ay 9, uh, sorry, 60 degrees. I hope na maliwanag sa atin yung different types of angles. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you on our next upload. Thank you and God bless.